all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh Made it to London! The flight was not that bad, it was so fast. It was like less than eight hours from Dallas to London. I couldn't believe it because that's like how much it is from New York to London. But the connection process here was so fast and easy. Um, the only thing is that I made it more difficult on myself because I thought I had to go through customs. So I waited in the customs line for a while. Um, and when I finally got up there, he's like, oh, you're in the wrong place. Like if you're connecting, like luckily he asked me where it was going. And um, he's like, you just like transfer like through some other security way. So, and it took me three minutes to get through security. So now I've got a little time before the flight. They don't even show the gate till 8.20 or 9.20. And I think I'm gonna find some food, if there is any. I'm not sure what kind of vegan stuff there is here. So, I love Europe. I had a vegan breakfast sandwich. <laughs> vegan sausage so I'm gonna eat it and then hopefully it'll be time for my next flight. I just landed in Vienna. I had to check my bag at the gate um, so now I'm just at baggage claim waiting but customs here was so fast everybody has been so nice so it's been pretty easy. I booked my hotel it's right at the central station so I just have to take one train to get there and because um, I got here in the afternoon um, I can already check in when I get there. Crazy. Oh, you see my secured the bag already and it is already cold and snowing here so I'm so glad I prepared with earmuffs, mittens, all the things. So now I just gotta find the train station but also I need coffee. The plane I was just on was the most uncomfortable plane ever. The seats didn't even recline or anything. My neck is killing me. I just need a coffee then we're out of here. Did I get a train ticket? Yes. Is it the correct train ticket? I don't know. Basically what it appeared to be was a ticket that you could take any train to get into Vienna. So it was only 240 euros, two, two euro 40 cents, whatever <laughs> their sense is. Now this train is gonna be 30 to 40 minutes late and it's cold. It's cold but an Uber is like 40 euros right now. Probably also because everybody is gonna go take one. And my AirPods are dead. I should probably go find a plug, charge them. I probably have time to go back upstairs and get food, honestly. But I don't wanna miss this train. I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it. And I look a lot more rough than I thought I did. Oh my gosh, okay, so basically what had happened at the airport is some inclement weather somewhere, because there's none here. Um, it's cold here and there's snow on the ground, but as far as like, it's not actively snowing, the, I mean, it's just winter. There's nothing like crazy going on. But <clears throat> essentially, none of the trains were coming. I waited for over an hour, well over an hour, and the train was not coming. So finally I was like, let me go grab an Uber. And I had met this girl who was trying to get to Salzburg and she had two flights to Munich cancel and then she was supposed to be on a tour and the tour had already begun but she couldn't get there so she was gonna meet up with them in Salzburg. Anyways, I felt really bad for her because her trains kept canceling. So finally I'm like, listen, I'm going to Central Station. I'm gonna take an Uber if you wanna come. Like, I'm gonna pay for it anyway, so if you just wanna hitch a ride and see, cause she had talked about maybe going to Central Station and trying to get a train from there. So, cause they might have more options. And um, so when we were going, we decided, we found the taxis first. Taxis were about 20 euros more. We definitely should have went with an Uber, but um, anyways, so I paid a lot of money for a taxi to come here. Um, the train ticket was like two euros, two euro 40, like I was saying. And it was like 59 euros 
for a taxi, which they don't tell you before, obviously, it's just, so, I don't know, he could have just charged me anything, and I would have been, I should have bartered with them and said Uber's only $36, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I made it here. It is cold out. It is snowy. The sidewalks are pure ice. Um, pure ice. It is way more winter here than it is in Minnesota, which is interesting. Um, but it's a very similar winter to Minnesota. So it's nothing I'm unfamiliar with. It's just, I probably won't be wearing my heels boots. Um, cause that was a little bit of a struggle. And I was planning to walk to the Airbnb tomorrow with all my luggage, but now I'm like, I don't know if I'll be able to. Yep. Anyway, so that's what's going on. So I'm going to look. I'm going to see. I am right across from the train station, and I bet you there's a lot of vegan food in there, too. I just am like, I'm kind of tired of walking around and being outside. I just sat in a train station for a very long time. All right. Good news. So I couldn't do Uber Eats, but I found this. Um, I was looking for vegan food like on Google Maps and there was a restaurant that I passed on the way here So it's pretty close and I thought well, let me just see if they have anything and they have a whole ass vegan menu But it's a Italian food and so I got a pizza and a soup because I'm definitely in the mood for soup But they had like this amazing vegan bolognese pizza so I got that and I was gonna order it for a pickup, but they deliver so I'm currently just getting it delivered. Pizza has arrived. They did not cut it though. <laughs> so it's just like a straight up a whole pizza. Let's see if I can tear a piece of it off. Who doesn't cut a pizza? Oh my God. Well, this is gonna be messy. There's not one slice. Mmm. Whoa. Tastes like lasagna. That's how I would describe it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Good morning from Vienna! So, I'm just getting dressed today. I've already showered. I'm wearing yesterday's hair because um, that was still proving to look cute and I'm just going to wear a headband or a bow, but I'm thinking a headband just because it's easier. It is only 24 degrees outside right now. I haven't been out there. My friends have landed. They are, well, Antonia doesn't get in till about 11. So let's see if this sweater is a cute shape. So this is the sweater with the leggings, nice and warm. Um, there's a mirror right here, so I can kind of see. And let's see, should I wear the black headband? I brought the white one, but I've actually really just been enjoying this black one. It's funny because in person I feel so pretty sometimes. Like when I do my hair and makeup and like, Right now when I'm looking in the mirror, I'm like, wow, I feel so pretty today. And then I look back at photos and videos and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like that's what I look like. Anyways, maybe other people feel the same. <laughs> it is cold. <sighs> I don't know if you can see my breath, but it's cold. But these fur lined leggings, oh my God. They're saving me. But I had to put my gloves and my earmuffs on. It's like a 20 minute walk. I'm like probably only five minutes away now from where I'm trying to go. But usually the walking, like I was afraid that walking 20 minutes would make me like sweat. But it is literally like 20 degrees and the sun is out, but because the buildings are so tall, um, sun isn't reaching me but I just can't believe how much snow there is here already like I thought Minnesota was such an early winter this is like winter winter yeah so anyways I put my phone away because my hands were getting cold holding it so I'm gonna put my camera away too but I think I'm almost there okay so we just checked into the Airbnb kind of um they're still cleaning it and we're a little bit early check-ins not till three and it's like one o'clock so um, 
Yeah, so I'm going to meet Antonia because she just landed and we're, ooh, I'm getting dripped on. We're the only vegan ones on this trip, I think, so she found some vegan food. So the other girls just ate at that cafe, but I have not eaten yet today and Antonia hasn't eaten yet. Oh. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. And um, so she found a place that has vegan food and she said the first thing she saw on the menu was a vegan hot dog. So if nothing else, we're just gonna eat vegan hot dogs. And then by the time I'm done, I think the girls will be going back to freshen up to go out for the day. So then we'll all meet up again. Samantha <laughs> with her eyes shaking and me and with her stirring. And they gave me a metal straw. Oh, it's a spoon. I was like, ooh, metal straw. All of my friends say, girl, you better take care. Boy, you best be aware. And though deep down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. I was like, oh damn. I can't let you go, baby. I can't let you go, baby. Cause I love you, I love you, I love you. No, no, no. Oh, is that me or you? Oh, that's you. I was like, oh, what did I press? This is the pumpkin risotto. Mm -hmm. morning it's a new day um, we had so much fun at dinner last night but yeah we just got back and we all just crashed hard there wasn't much going on on a Monday night so I'm currently on my way to the grocery store right now so everybody just kind of woke up everybody's sitting around having coffee they're kind of like slowly waking up And I got ready right away. Um, today's Aunt's last day here. She only came for two days, so um, I wanted to be up and ready to like go hang out with her. So I'm running to the grocery store because I need like water and I need a bar of soap for the shower here because when you do Airbnbs, you don't really get all that stuff. And um, so I'm doing that. And then I'm gonna go meet Aunt and then we're gonna meet back up with everybody else for lunch. So it should be fun. I did not have the mental capacity today to wash and dry my hair, so it's like a little bit dirty. But we're just going with it. So I'm meeting Antonia at this place called Gorilla Kitchen. And I think they have some vegan food there and stuff, so we're gonna have a light breakfast before we meet everybody for lunch. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. 
Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Every Christmas time This is where we're having lunch Oh, see that Ferris wheel? That's the winter market. Right there. <laughs> we got a view of the uh, <laughs> industrious canal. We're trying our hand at the first Christmas market today. I forget the name of it already, but winter market. <laughs> um, there's a Ferris wheel here, so if you're from the area or you've been here, it's just where that big Ferris wheel is. All right, so Christmas market number two. We're at um, Christmas this, market number two, St. Charles Church. That's that was called. And this one looks a lot better already than the one we just went to. The one we just went to, honestly, had, had, just had drinks. Yeah, had drinks. It probably had like 13 drink booths, That's and then it. two, three shops. We did get the vegan churro, which was very good. But uh, yeah, so this one already, just first glance, looks a lot better. I'm the worst vlogger ever because it is cold. <laughs> my hands are cold. <laughs> Even with my mittens on. All right, so. Nick, what else you got? Wait. I don't know. I got his favorite. Got this one has berries in it. Ooh. Want to try? He said, "I don't know. I got his favorite." <laughs> Nick is gonna be the hot wine connoisseur at the end of this trip. The hot wine drinks are for me because I don't like the spices. <laughs> All right. No. We got potato vegan goulash <laughs> and bread. <laughs> Me and Antonia meant to share one, but one. there was a miscommunication and she gave us each her own, which is fine. I was like, is she splitting them? Or? Yeah. Mmm, mm, it's good though. And it's warm, I'm so cold. Mm. Whatever this bread is, mm. I think it's sourdough, right? <laughs> Uh, just like the density. Yeah, but it is like a sour flavor. It is very good. Mm. We've officially run out of toilet paper in the Airbnb. <laughs> yeah, and I don't stay in Airbnbs often, so I always forget that you have to buy your own stuff like that sometimes. Um, but anyways, we came back for a quick like little nap and to pick up another uh, traveler for our trip. And I put on a second pair of socks, a second pair of pants, and a second sweater. <laughs> so we're going to one more Christmas market. It's apparently the biggest one. So I'm excited, it should be fun. I just think it's funny that I actually thought I was gonna be able to look cute on this trip for photos and stuff. <laughs> I really should have just brought all thermal clothing. All right, I'm officially warm, so much warmer. And we're at our third Christmas market. Look at how pretty it is. So exciting. This one is so much busier. I think it's only open for like two more hours, so we gotta try to fit a lot in two hours.
On the train, I was saying all I wanted was a vegan bratwurst, and I found one as soon as I got in, so I'm in line to get one. It's kind of a long line, but I think it'll be worth it. So much anxiety, but we got the vegan bratwurst. Mm. All my friends are all around, and I'm just by myself. And they have ice skating here. <laughs> I might come back and do this before I leave. I'm not a good ice skater though, at all. Um, there's so much vegan food here. I'm not even hungry, but I'm having a hard time like not getting every single, I found like a vegan pulled pork thing, also a vegan chimney cake. So many good things. I found rosé because I'm not into the hot wine drinks. I hate the spices. I tried one earlier, I couldn't do it. So yay for Rose Prosecco. Super excited, still haven't seen any of my friends. They haven't texted me yet, so I assume they haven't left. <laughs> so I'm just chilling. It's actually so fun. I'm, I'm definitely gonna get some more food. I just can't help it. It's too good. I found my friends. <laughs> I'm not alone anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>